The idea of this video came to me during my morning meditation. This building just popped out of my subconscious mind. And I can tell you that this building is the last thing I would show you in St. Petersburg. However, maybe this is what my audience needs badly right now. Hello my dear friends, I'm Ksenia. Welcome to my channel St. Petersburg Me. And today I'm going to visit the creepiest museum in Russia, this one. And without further ado, let's get started. This museum is called Kunstkamera. So the first floor of the museum is an ethnographical uh, exhibition. So you will see uh, the artifacts from Africa, um, America, from um, Alaska and other, Japan and other uh, countries. This museum was founded by the Russian emperor whose name was Peter I or Peter the Great as we call him in Russia. So this emperor was known as a reformer emperor and he was very interested in Europe. He was very interested in science, in knowledge, in spreading that science and knowledge across Russia and Russians. So uh, he was also a traveler. He traveled much. He uh, learned languages and he um, traveled Europe and uh, the, this city, St. Petersburg, was founded as a window to Europe. So Russians call, uh, used to call this city Akno v Evropu, which means uh, window to Europe. And uh, the city was found uh, in 1703. And of course, when it only started, it was a small city. With the time, uh, the mansions of um, rich Russians were appearing in the new city and Peter the Great wanted to show the whole world that Russia is a very, very great country to be able to construct, to create a museum uh, in a new city, in a very small city at that time. Peter the Great had two goals for this museum. His first goal was to spread um, knowledge and science among Russians and his second goal was to show the whole world that Russia is a very strong country to be able to build such a great museum and to host such a great collection in a new city. Mm -hmm. There's a whole story behind this tree, a piece of a tree. So once uh, Peter the Great was uh, walking along the street and saw this tree with the branch that was coming off the trunk and was coming in again to the trunk. So this was a mutant. And he thought, why not organizing such a museum with such artifacts? So this was the first artifact in this museum. At that time, only noble people and people from like uh, middle class were allowed to this museum. People uh, of um, very simple, uh, standard like origin, low origin, were not allowed to this museum. Uh, so noble people were served coffee and pranyki, um, like uh, they were called cukerbrot. Uh, uh, it's um, a kind of um, gingerbread. Uh, so they were served as uh, high class. Luckily now, people like me from low origins are allowed to this museum and can have a look uh, on all these marvels. And now we're going to, to the second floor. And here, 
the creepiest part of the museum begins. And now I'm in the uh, main exhibition of this museum. Uh, this exhibition is devoted to um, many kinds, to various kinds of abnormalities. Uh, so now I will show you. It's not the real. <laughs> <laughs> Very uh, pleasant thing, but still, you have to to see it. This museum is called Kunstkamera. Uh, this word derives from German, and Kunst in German means art. Camera, camera in German means a chamber. So it, um, um, and we get uh, the chamber of curiosities of uh, marvels uh, so that's why um, this museum is called like this and in europe in uh, the 18th century it was uh, very very popular uh, to organize such chambers as this one and um, peter the great um, was very very interested in such exhibitions in um, in anatomy in surgery that's why uh, he wanted to have uh, the same collection in Russia so he organized it just look at the ceiling wow very beautiful super beautiful wow and this chandelier. Oh. <sighs> For me, it's not so pleasant to to watch this. Oh my God. I don't even understand how people could be interested in that, like ordinary people, not um, anatomists, not uh, scientists, but uh, that's, this was meant for uh, ordinary people, actually. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> And you know why I am here? So I was doing my morning meditation and out of my subconsciousness, this museum popped out. You know, it was like uh, this museum, Kunstkamera, video. And I was like, oh, why on earth this museum? St. Petersburg has a lot of museums, art galleries, but no, my subconsciousness told me to go here and to make a video so my dear friends you must watch it now really <laughs> because this is the creepiest uh, exhibition that I've ever seen <sighs> this is um, a baby with a brain tumor so here you can see um, a baby with no legs, here a baby, um, a mermaid baby, like he has legs that were, um, that were like together, not separate legs, but together. So this is a baby with brain tumor. This is also a baby with brain tumor. And this, oh my God. So here is a baby with brain water. Just look how big his head is. Wow, that is really, really creepy. Here you can see again a baby with no legs there. Oh, uh, here is 
a baby with no brain, of course, um, it would never survive. So, these are conjointed um, twins. We call that these um, Siamese twins. And of course, at that time, that uh, would never be able to survive. But now, um, doctors do the, do uh, the uh, surgeries that help to um, to ununite them. So look here and as you can see the hand and the little leg is covered with a lace. It was done uh, for aesthetic purposes because people didn't want uh, to vis to, for visitors to be scared or something like that so they covered the artifacts with laces and this is uh, the skeleton of a baby cow with uh, two heads so you can see so it's a conjointed twin cow and here you can see a baby cow with double heads oh and this looks cute oh such a cutie the thing is that at that time uh, people who were um, uh, born with double heads or um, conjointed twins were uh, considered uh, a mark of devil and of course women who um, delivered such babies were considered witches and they um, sometimes they got even killed uh, so this this was meant to prove that uh, this was not uh, a devil's mark this is uh, like uh, something which uh, happens quite a lot of um, in, in a lot of cases uh, so um, after uh, such chambers appeared people began transforming their minds and beliefs Peter the Great bought this collection uh, from uh, an anatomist who lived in Holland and the cost of this collection was just very huge so he paid uh, 30,000 um, Holland money, uh, they are called gulden in Russian, and uh, it's equivalent to uh, one million dollar in modern money, or at that time, for this money, uh, Peter the Great could buy two fully equipped warships. So you can just understand how uh, Peter the Great was interested in spreading knowledge across Russia that he spent so much money on the collection of uh, unborn babies who were mm, mutants. Uh, and um, also uh, you can understand um, the uh, the value of this uh, by the fact that Peter the Great was a salesman as well so he uh, valued warships very very much were very high and uh, he bought not <laughs> two warships but this collection and here you can see a twin baby uh, without the head like he is called uh, it is called parasite
as I said before, Peter the Great was very fond of uh, knowledge, science, and he was practicing surgeries even. So here uh, you can see um, his set of tools. Just a second. So this is uh, Peter the Great's set of tools here and here. Uh, he is known to um, conduct little surgeries and uh, he also was <laughs> very interested in um, pulling teeth. So he, uh, after he pulled a teeth um, from a man or person, uh, he used to write down the name of the person he used to write down the reason why he the tooth uh, must have been pulled out and here you can see uh, the collection of tooth that Peter the Great pulled out by himself wow <laughs> as you can see uh, there are not so healthy teeth I said before, um, Peter the Great was a traveler, so he also included to his collection animals that were never presented in Russia, in Russian uh, Empire. So here you can see monkeys and and I don't know what this animal is. So my dear friends, that's all for today. Um, uh, this is all for the Kunstkamera and I hope you will be able to visit this museum once you are in Russia, in St. Petersburg. That is very creepy, but still very, very um, knowledgeable, you know. And um, I here I tell you goodbye and see you in the next video. Bye guys!